Prince Harry reportedly nearly gave the game away before proposing to his wife, Meghan Markle while they were living in Kensington Palace back in 2017. The Sussexes, who now live stateside in California, recalled the romantic proposal in the second episode of their three-part Netflix documentary series, Harry and Meghan. Harry said in the documentary, I wanted to do it earlier, but because I had to ask permission from my grandmother I couldn't do it outside of the UK, reports the Daily Express. He admitted that he nearly scuppered his own plans to completely surprise her with the ring, recalling, I did pop a bottle of champagne while she was roasting a chicken, and that kind of slightly gave the game away and she was like you never drink champagne, what's the occasion? I was like oh no, I just had it lying around here, whatever. At this point, Meghan jumped in adding, it was a magnum. However, the rest of the prince's plan went off without a hitch as he lead his then-girlfriend out into the walled garden which was covered in electric candles. He then got down on one knee and asked the all-important question, presenting her with a ring fit for any member of the royal family and featuring diamonds belonging to his late mother. Sales director of jewelry experts F. Hines, Jeremy Hines, told The Express, Prince Harry designed Meghan's engagement ring himself, incorporating a three carat cushion cut center diamond from Botswana, the place is said to be meaningful for the couple. Harry also used jewels from his mother Princess Diana's personal collection, with the center diamond surrounded by two round diamonds as a tribute to her. The jewels are set on a gold band. As expected, the ring is likely worth a staggering sum, according to the jewelry expert, who said, estimates have placed the original ring's value at upwards of £100,000, with some estimates reaching as high as £300,000. Since the first receiving the ring in 2017 and getting married in May the following year, Meghan has made some additions to the already magnificent piece of jewelry, including extra diamonds. Mr. Hines said, Meghan debuted a redesigned engagement ring shortly after the couple's pregnancy announcement, having had the ring redesigned to incorporate a thin, yellow gold band set with micro, paved diamonds. Welsh gold has used in the rings of royal brides for decades, including the late Queen Elizabeth. Princess Diana and Princess Kate of Wales who were all given gold wedding bands. Meghan was no exception and now wears a gold band next to her engagement ring, as well as a third ring that was later spotted on her wedding finger, a diamond-studded gold eternity band. The trio of rings first appeared publicly shortly after the birth of couple's first child Archie Mountbatten, Windsor in May 2019. Mr. Hines explained, alongside the revamped engagement ring and Meghan's wedding band, 2019's Trooping the Color saw the public debut of an eternity ring. He continued, This ring was, reportedly, presented as a gift from Harry to honor both their first anniversary as a married couple, and the birth of their first child. The eternity ring features the birthstones of Harry, Meghan, and Archie, Sapphire, Peridot, and Emerald respectively. The eternity ring is believed to have been amended to include a nod to the couple's second child, Lilibet Mountbatten, Windsor, who was born in 2021. Lilibet's birthstones are pearl, alexandrite and moonstone and so it is possible. One of these stones was added to mark the arrival of the fourth member of the Sussex family.